Hey guys, welcome back to Broken Sword, The Shadow of the Templars. Now, we're in a mausoleum in Spain, and uh, yeah, I love mausoleums. So let's uh, investigate, let's have a look around. Hanging from the ceiling was a huge yellowed candle. It looked really old and had never been lit. Hmm, interesting. What's this? The mausoleum contained five tombs for five of the Knights Templar, man size in marble. <laughs> uh, what's this? A big statuette of the Virgin Mary kept an eye on the place. What's this? In front of the shrine was a lectern with a Bible on it. Okay. So let's talk to the Countess. May I ask you something? So you may ask. Is the Virgin Mary really the right person to be sharing a mausoleum with five knights? You are showing your ignorance, Senor Stobart. The Templars were dedicated to the Virgin Mary. My bad. That's a big candle. Where would you buy a thing like that from? You could not. It is an antique, unique to my knowledge. Just how old is it? It dates from the Middle Ages, when the Moors controlled Spain. The candle was to be lit as a signal to the estate workers if the Moors attacked. Who exactly are these people? My ancestors. These five men were all members of the Templar. Five ancestors in the Order. You must be very proud. Not five. Six. Where's the sixth knight? He was lost to us. You lost an ancestor? It is a family matter. It can have no relevance. Well, it's connected with the curse of the Devasconcellos, isn't it? Yes, it is. I hope you will honor my desire not to talk about it. Okay, well, I'll leave it for now. Let's ask about the Knights Templar again. You certainly know your history. Now, what's your opinion of the Templar, Senor Stobart? The Templars? Well, they seem no worse than a lot of the knightly orders. Uh, you are mistaken. Compared to the simpering politicians of the hospitalers or the brutish Teutonics, the Knight Templar were the embodiment of chivalry. The filthy, money-grabbing French king and his pet pope did a great wrong. A bane settled upon my family at the whim of that self-seeking tyrant. It was all a long time ago. Some things don't die. Injustice is one of them. Fair enough. Shall I shake a hand, guys? Would you like to shake hands? A formal bow will suffice. Aww. Uh -huh. Okay, thanks. Not at all. So, what else is in here? This book? On removing the Bible, I found a pattern on the lectern top. Hey! It's a checkerboard! The lectern top had a pattern of glass squares on it. Close up, I could see over a checkerboard pattern. Some of the squares had little jagged holes in the middle. Hmm, interesting. Let's ask her about that. Would you tell me something? Uh, what do you want to know? What's the story with the glass chessboard? Glass chessboard? Oh, the pattern on the lectern. Purely decorative, I'm sure. There are pieces of glass missing from it. Oh, it has been like that since I was a girl. The gaps in the glass chessboard look awfully deliberate. No, it is ridiculous. What possible significance can it have? It's part of a chessboard, and the gaps are for... Senor Stobart. You cannot mean... This place was built for the Templars. Your chess set is as old as the Templars. It's kind of suggestive, isn't it? I think this must be it. This is what the manuscript is pointing to. This is extraordinary. So we're uncovering another mystery here, guys. Am I to understand that the Templars left a puzzle here? And in all of this time we failed to realize that there was a puzzle? 
It was wonderful to watch the Countess change before my eyes. Right. Well, no time for wallowing in their pity, eh, Senor Stobart? This mystery has had a good long run, but it ain't here and now. All those years of fatalism were falling away from her. Lopez! Lopez! Put that hold down and listen! Go to the house and get my chest set! Yes! The old chest set! Oh, damn the game! Now hurry! Okay, a mystery to solve, guys. A mystery to solve. Oh my! This is exciting, is it not? Don't get too excited. I, this could be a blind alley. Oh, I do not believe that for a moment. It's good to see you happy. Happy? <laughs> you know, I think I am. Uh, let's talk about the Templars once While again. While we're waiting, I'd really like to know what happened here. I mean, the curse and everything? It all began at the time of the dissolution of the Templars. Don Carlos had already left their ranks to become a scholar. Don Carlos? Is he the guy who went missing? Si. Uh, but he had reckoned without the local bishop. The bishop ended us our land and determined to use the papal edict as an excuse to destroy us. Don Carlos was on one of his scholarly journeys when the Inquisition arrived. When Don Carlos returned, was to find his loyal manservant slain and his children gone. They took the kids? But why? Well, we will never know. The bishop denied all knowledge of the children's disappearance. But witnesses had seen his men kill the servant who had been charged to protect them. What happened to Don Carlos? Uh, he swore he'd find his children if he had to go to the edge of the world. He put on his armor and took up his sword and shield and rode out alone. He was never seen again. Ah, in time with your chessboard, ah, I see. You have the pieces. See, si, my lady, as you asked. Por favor, Senor Sobat, would you be so kind? My lady. Calm yourself, Lopez. I believe Senor Sobat's motives are pure. Very well, my lady. Yeah, Lopez, go suck a cock. My lady seems to trust you. But you don't. No, senor. Hmm, I don't like that tone, Lopez. I don't like that tone. Okay, so let's see what we have here. It fits, senor Soba. It fits. Working quickly, I found which pieces went into which holes. Okay guys, we have a chessboard here and I think I'll wrap up. Um, this is a small puzzle here we're going to solve in our next part. And I think our next part is going to be our 30th part, so we're already like double how much uh, I did on full throttle so this game is very long and I think I'm only halfway through with this game so yeah this game is gonna take a while and in our next part we're gonna solve this puzzle so I hope you enjoyed farewell <laughs>